welcome angry faithful today on what the hell we're gonna just do a little bit of a uh year in review and hopefully have it posted up pretty fast but anyways uh we were gonna go live on this one but due to complication in both of our lives we weren't we'll try to do that next week i want to get the uh what the hell episodes live uh but you know compliment uh, complication in each of our lives it's gonna happen to where we're not gonna be able to do this hopefully we were we were just talking about trying to get some sponsors and everything i mean your fiance gave you the same uh video that i gave you so yes so we're gonna try to do some fancy stuff get some actual people to interview and everything and <clears throat> oh i gotta i gotta talk to a guy that was in who uh helped start up uh union underground you remember that band <laughs> i think so yeah it was back in the 90s it started like it back in the 90s so he's he's a guy that's looking for like uh Fem- a couple of female band uh to start up a new band so but oh i got us now um, i gotta contact him tomorrow i'm still trying to get that uh guy that had uh that addiction and he's in recovery now but he's working with his brother as a welder so he does not have that much time so everybody that i contact to try to get on the show either doesn't reply to me or doesn't have time or is in some kind of limbo where they can't do shit so i am trying my best for some reason i was expecting the word um rehab to come out of your mouth why i don't know why Why? what what the hell dude caliber of people we know i don't know well but most of them might be in rehab dude 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 the uh it, it's it's a weird situation when one of the people that you don't really like trying to contact you to be on the show so they they can supposedly uh bring up there this is the only reason why i haven't done an interview with her i try to get her like like in uh march of last year i think in 2020 but things we're talking here. fake lashes fake hair no she actually comes on the show oh but same idea just a different name so we're no, we're not okay we're, we're not talking about the barbie right a different barbie same plastic different barbie <laughs> okay <laughs> a little bit more plastic in this one but anyway, she has a uh, you know yeah okay. She has a Schmoly fans account. An only friends account. We can't say only fans. I said only friends. Oh okay yeah fuck I fucked that up. Anyways, she has one. She wants to promote it and everything. She's like, I have uh, I want to try to get comedians and everything on there and and do this and that. I'm like, yeah fuck no. You killed your husband. To this to this day, I will, I will I will that that's the only thought thought she she not that bitch Carol Baskins is it? No, <laughs> no, no. You think I could if I could pull off Carol Baskin? You think I'd be like you know worried? I'm like I pulled off Carol Baskin. What you got now, boy? At least you didn't say that you hold, you know, hold it to Carol Baskin. That would be one of the more regrettable faps, I think, of all of all history. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Anyways, but uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm happy about that uh, we got the review from uh, a lot of our sites and everything, how well we've been actually doing. But it's kind of strange at the same time frame because for the uh, monetization for YouTube, 
mm-hmm. which I'm not really worried about because the the sponsorship from uh, Anchor, our only sponsor, which is basically free for us anyways, mm-hmm. we didn't have to work for. Uh, that is pretty much going up to where, I mean, right now we're at seven bucks compared to what we're like at 20 cents last year. And that was only because I started like pressing down and, and listening to the episodes. It's the only reason why we had the 20 cents. Now we have like $7 from that, which, you know, it, it just shows the amount of improvement that we're actually getting. Yeah, true. And uh, thanks to our super fan, Maria, that keeps on like, she, she's, she's our uh, official, I think we shouldn't, since it's official that uh, she's our, uh, what do you, what do you call, uh, ambassador of the show. So should we make up a t-shirt that says what has two thumbs and doesn't give a fuck about you? This girl right here. And just have it have a label that says super fan. I'm really willing to put in half on that. Yeah. I mean, I'm down for that. Yeah. Find somebody that's willing to do a sublimation on it. You know, because oh, yeah, those are easy, but yeah. they're expensive. There's like uh well for th- one shirt. I'm sure we can find a small business owner here in town that's willing to do that for thirty bucks. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I I know I know lots of people that actually do it. Uh, because I had to get information on the t-shirt business and everything, and I still got to talk to Kai with that bullshit. But uh, coming up February, I got to order the stuff, and it'll probably be mid January where I order the stuff. But we're gonna do a murder basket. That's not gonna be a basket. I'm just gonna end up. <clears throat> I'm just gonna end up like collecting all this stuff that's supposed to be in a basket and just shipping them to whoever wins. So, yeah. What's really surprising is all the stuff that I've uh, looked up to try to get and everything. Mm-hmm. The most expensive thing is the basket itself. <laughs> so I was like. Because looking at the price range on uh, shipping and everything, I'm like, fuck, the basket's going to be fucking... Because it's it, the basket is just huge. And I was like, fuck, they're just... And I, and I, I basically went from here. I was like doing measurements and everything on Thursday since I didn't get to work on Thursday. Why, but, why uh, don't wait? Why don't we do this? We get just like one of those plastic organizer tubs, decorate it, put stuff in it, put a lid on it, stick it in a box, lower profile, still considered technically a basket. It just happens to have a lid. No, we can just, uh, at least at this point we could put, we could draw dicks on the lid and we can mark the outside of the box that we're shipping it with, with a bunch of obscene things like contents one massive dildo no well you gotta (laughs) we can still okay we could still do that (laughs) we could still do this but instead of because what i was thinking just get one of those uh not the first class mail but just a regular mailbox and yeah if it ships if it fits it ships because all we're gonna all we're gonna put into this box is uh a gift certificate for amazon Mm-hmm. do whatever you want but it is mainly for the movie uh so i married axe we're gonna put that on there lotion body wash and some uh bubble shit so okay that 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 that's it that that's all that's going on maybe thing. a bonus tube of astral glide you know because after viewing and listening to all our sultry voices the uh, male counterparts or the male halves of whatever lucky female listener that wins this basket is just not going to measure up. 
I was going to go with laxative, but, you know, that's a different reason. Why? 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 Same kind of lube, but it's not. Here, no, here's, no, here's the thing. Get them the Astroglide. So that way, their men, the men, the man in their life, has a chance. You get pegged? <laughs> if he's into it, fine. But I'm talking <laughs> about. We don't freak shame. No, we're not freak shaming at all. Now, back to my thought, is that if, if, if you fill out the job application correctly, the recipient should have a couple of things knocked loose. Just saying. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Going for the tighter hole. Well, not so much the tighter hole. But remember the movie Kingpin? Woody Harrelson? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, God, I haven't <laughs> seen that movie in a while. He, he had to sleep with his landlord to make the rent. She's like, I don't know what you did last night, but it sure knocked something loose, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> and he's rolling over the bed. <laughs> he's throwing up into the trash can. <laughs> she goes... Something about great sex just has to make me take a shit first thing in the morning. <laughs> oh, my God. I've just drooled on myself on camera. I'm not cutting that. No, fuck that. But I mean, I can't believe that, I ladies? fucking just drooled. I'm good looking enough. And my voice is deep enough that I made David via Zoom drool on himself. Yeah, we can go with that, I guess. Sure, yeah. Hey, that's a nice pizzeria cup, dude. Pizza Hut. My dad used to work for Pizza Hut. And okay. some of those and some of those uh cups ended up uh coming home it's with family it. heirlooms. I got you. Yeah. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so what you're in a you're in review, man. Oh Lee. We've been we've been like what the hell? it's been bouncing around but only bouncing around because we just it it's always been bouncing around we kept studied with the uh what the hell uh i mean it's in the title psychos- yeah i was like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> it's like it was whole reason what, why I did what the hell we want to talk about um yeah oh hey did you see the new sticker that came with this month's uh coffee subscription the poseidon no 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 well born to slay Oh, that's cute. I didn't get that. <laughs> it's like that is actually pretty awesome. I got I got the sign in one, so but yeah, um No, I had to make a <clears throat> I had to make a a a back-to-back trip down to the Houston area this weekend um for some family business. And uh I'm like literally before we log before I logged in to the meeting, you know, to the Zoom here, I'd been home maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I'm st- I, I grabbed a bowl of stew off the stove and yeah, I haven't even unpacked yet. No. So and then after we get off of here, if we get done doing this episode, I gotta get situated because I get to drag my happy ass to work tomorrow. Um honestly don't want to but you know um i gotta get back into a a normal routine yeah but uh yeah it uh all in all um man dude i am really i'm happy with where the show has gone over the last what has it been when did I when did I come on board? Was I it think like it was in March? Hold yeah, on. it was like March. So it was March about February. nine or ten months. But um, and and I'm not counting the three part episode. Well, no, yeah, I kind of am. I'm not counting that interview about for base camp Lindsay or rally. Was it base camp Lindsay? I'm not counting them. Yeah, I'm not counting that because that that was just kind of a. Eh. I would count it only because 
of it, it was that that was more like a full dress rehearsal i think yeah uh, you know where it you know, for how we have done so the, many freaking episodes i interviewed on. for the position i guess <laughs> <laughs> 10 months ago so it was in february well no yeah. it was in march march no it was february yeah no march you're right you're right 10 11 12 yeah but um and god man look i mean look look what the show's evolved into a little bit we we've we've dubbed a super fan yeah we've 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 come up with uh you know a salute for our 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 group of of loyal listeners the the angry faithful mm-hmm. uh we came out with nerd sports which we came out like eight months prior yeah so it took us a couple months to get everything because we me and you just ended up doing we started out technically uh we started the out with and the psych- psychos and sociopaths because i was like do we need to get some viewership? Some criminal shit gets. Which is really surprising is some of the stuff that I uh, I find out. It's like I find out during the show because I just I get excited. I want people to feel that excitement when I'm reading this stuff oh, and everything oh. like that half the time. Look what I bought. Hold on, hold on. A hand? No. I bought a ring light. Are you bringing a ring light? Yeah, I bought a ring light, dude. It was like. Uh... I caught it at Walmart. It was it was kind of sitting in one of those like ten dollar bargain bins. You know what's really sad? You know how big my TV is, right? Yeah. For the longest time, for the first couple of episodes, what I ended up doing, you can go on YouTube and find out like white screen, uh, green screen, black screen, whatever, and you just play it, and it's like an hour long. For the longest time, that was my light for my videos really yeah that's interesting yeah i i I did a lot of like weird uh look i mean right now i got those uh oh god i looked at them i got those led lights in here and i use (laughs) it now you've got (laughs) yeah now i'm blinking (laughs) i just looked at my ring light i just i just looked at my ring light and (laughs) Now I'm seeing halos in my, in my <laughs> yeah. field of vision. So what is wrong with us? Our 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 studio v- value. Don't is push the button. <laughs> but oh, and uh, we have to. Uh, and I'm going to say this. Fuck you, 2021 oh yeah you had to get one last sucker punch in didn't you you cock sucker you took betty white from us fucking douchebags what's really sad is people magazine came out it's like uh because when is her birthday actually uh um betty white. in like 15 days something like that like a week and a half well two two weeks hold on it's coming up here uh 17th so Hmm. Yeah, it fucking sucks, man. Yeah, because it was like, like seventeen days short of her 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 one hundredth birthday. Yeah, yeah. It it was just like New Year's Eve. Uh huh. Well, someone was eighteen. So, but uh, yeah. Well, it also got a uh, uh, John Madden. Yeah, took John Madden from us too, unexpectedly, no less. Yeah. Um. Yeah, 2021. Yeah, there was a, a TikTok video that I saw. Um, this guy, it, he, was, he was playing three parts. It was God, 2022, and 2020, right? Oh, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. I think or I 2021 and 2020, right? And he's like, what the fuck did you do? Really? You, you took Buddy White, and in 2021, is sitting over there going, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did that. He's like, and God kind of goes off in 2020. He's even like, I knew not even to do that. <laughs> and then 2021 goes, yeah, I'm kind of regretting that now. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, I just... Did he get up and just take his own name in vain? <laughs> yeah. I thought I sent it. Uh, I thought I sent it to my friend Candy, but I guess I didn't. And another thing that happened is uh, 
Uh, Justine, hey, ladies uh, and gentlemen, Maxwell. who are watching on YouTube, you'll see my son sitting in the back. He's trying to he's trying to video bomb the show. Say hi, Reagan. Hello, world. <laughs> hello, five people. Yeah, hello, five <laughs> people that listen to us royally. Royally and loyally. That came out almost came out royally. I don't know why I was thinking royally. I was trying I to say thought you said. I thought he's regular. All right, let me let me back up, rewind that, and erase it. Yes, hello, five people that listen to us loyally. Loyally. Yes, loyally. Loyally and but regularly sound the same. Loyal and royal. Yeah, they rhyme. I mean, I get it. I don't know, but anyways. But Jackson, uh, uh, Justine Maxwell. Maxwell five or six uh, counts. And the oh. judge ordered all of the records sealed. Here's I think it's the because thing. the judge was on the list. Uh, well, also. Or the judge was being threatened by people who were on the list. Yeah. Uh, also on that, though, is uh, the basic fact of uh, right now she is going to name names. So she's going to. Here's my theory. Okay. They can't do the same fucking thing twice. She'll, she'll hang herself with two gunshot <clears throat> wounds to the back of the head next week. No, no, she will try to escape, and that's how she gets killed. Gunshots are part of it, though. I, I seriously think. I seriously think that's what's going to happen. I mean, me and me and uh, Candy were talking about it last night. Uh, Here's how they're the going to try to sell that. They're going to try to say that a right-wing conspiracy, a, a conspiracy theorist, murdered her. And it's like... That that theory doesn't float because why? Every right winger that I know, to include the alt right people that I do know, unfortunately, want her to name names. Yeah, everybody. It's it's one of the things that's like keeping us all together. It's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need names. Uh huh. Let's try to keep because yeah. because all the like, uh, uh, what you call it. I think it's going to be like that one episode of Chappelle show where he's doing the, uh, uh, the race, uh, what was it? The ra- race, uh, God damn, I can't fucking remember it. I've watched it so many times where they're doing like, a uh, race draft. That's what it was. And they're just going to go off and it's like the right and the left. This is going to get to go. I knew it. I knew it. And then one another one comes up. It's like, well, we didn't, we didn't think of that, but where did this come from? Type of deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that, exactly. that's that. And I was like, uh, I was talking to her and she's like, so what are you thinking right now with all this Justine Maxwell stuff? I was like, I'm, I, I'm pissed off that I can't find, uh, find the, uh, God damn it. Dang. Uh, da, 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 da. What did I call it? It's sad. I have. Oh, uh, I was wondering what the spread of her uh, her death was going to be. <laughs> oh. What the over under was going to be? Yeah, uh, <laughs> right. Well, at this point, she's under such heavy lock and key that uh, I think the backup power supply to the backup power supply has a backup power supply to her security cameras. Yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah. There's going to be the funny. So the much. funny thing. The funny thing about trying to cover your tracks on a uh, high-profile case such as that is that you can't use the same MO twice for two people associated with the same crime. You can't. Yeah. So what is that, that, that rule of thumb, that cardinal rule? Never go back to the scene of the crime? I just posted on our uh, Facebook page. Oh, that was another thing we got. We got dinged this week, and nobody knows about it except for us. But one of our photos got taken down. 
Uh, yeah. And it was just a ridiculous thing. And it was an Epstein uh, one. It so. was an Epstein meme. I'm sitting there posting another one, but it's not like. But I'm sitting there going, really? Well, it was okay during this time frame. They're doing a lot of like uh, watching over suicide posts and everything, which is really sad. If it's something to do with suicide, and they take it down, and they no, die, that's, would that's they the be reasoning they gave it? us. It had everything to do with the fact that Justine Maxwell's case just went, just just came down with a verdict. It did that that day. It was kind of the. Uh huh. I was wondering if you were going to pick up on that timing because that's immediately what. Ninja no, I picked said. up on that ti- timing and everything. I was like, "Fuck, assholes! Maybe, maybe your CEO shouldn't be dealing with kids then, <sighs> or someone in your CEO." Uh, station shouldn't be the link to to quote or to quote john goodman's walter socek from the big lebowski nine-year-olds dude yeah (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah yeah he's a better ass (laughs) nobody nobody fucks with a jesus (laughs) i'm gonna take that gun I'm going to stick it up your ass. I'm going to put a trigger until it goes click. <laughs> I'm going to, now I got to sit down and watch the big Lebowski again. I've never seen that movie either. Are you? I got, I, I watched like. Obviously you're not a golfer. It's not that I got like 10 minutes of the movie and I just got bored. If a movie doesn't catch me in the first 10 minutes, it is very rare that I keep the watching it. Well, I mean, that's like your opinion, man. Well, there's a lot of movies that are just artistic, and I just I, I can't stand to watch. Like people, uh, one of my uh, exes kept on screaming out. It's like, you have to watch this movie, uh, Clockwork Orange. It's so great. I'm like, I tried watching it. And I looked at her, I was like, we can go to, you know, go see a couple of homeless people and they can throw shit in my eyes and it'd probably be the same fucking thing. It was so foreign, fucking boring, boring to me. I got I got the idea of it and everything, but it was just so drawn out. No, see, this is about unchecked aggression. It's about a line in the sand. You draw that line in the sand, it must say, state. Past this line, none shall pass. Oh, I pass and dance around that phone the fucker all the fucking time. But you're a nihilist. You don't believe in anything. Yeah. What okay, was the see, other what movie? I just did there, what I just did there, okay, for the last, like, two, three minutes, you're carrying on a normal conversation, and I replied with references to the Big Lebowski. Every uh, single one of them. Uh, see, I, I, I didn't even yeah. pick up on that. Yeah, exactly. Because you are an uneducated heathen. I am an Becky uneducated Becky Treehorn heathen. holds a lot of water in this town, kid. But there's one, uh, there's like one movie that I just, I don't know why, but once I say I, lo- I love movies, I alert, I love a certain type of movies. Right. Like, God, I, they always tried it. It was like, oh, you'll love this movie. It's an artsy movie. I was like, I fucking hate artsy movies. There was one movie a chick uh, got me to watch only okay. because the whole, okay, the whole premise of it is this chick was cheating on her uh, her boyfriend or husband and everything like that. I hate movies like that. Anyway, go ahead. The worst part of it was they had like cut scenes of this cat they were supposed to fucking adopt. And the cat had like a speaking role. Uh huh. And I was like, the fuck? It, I got more intrused. I was like, I hated the rest of the movie other than the only thing that caught my eye was the actual cat talking and everything. I was wondering what was happening to this fucking cat. By the end of the movie, the cat dies because they didn't pick it up or anything. No. I was like, oh man, that's so sad. What about the cheating and everything? Well, he should have just fucking, you know, left her. But the cat, 
It's a fucking animal. You, it's a rescue cat, basically. It was another it, City of the Dam was another one. The only reason why I watched that is because I love Ron, Ron Perlman and uh uh, it was it was the dude did like uh, Alien Resurrection or some shit like that, right? Uh, hold on. Uh, there we go. Uh, do, 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 do. But I love Rob Porman, an actor, and I didn't know he knew French. Hmm. Only reason why I knew he knew French is because City of the Damned. But the director directed City of the Dam. <clears throat> Sorry. He directed City of Dam and he also directed uh, Alien Re- Resurrection. Okay. That was the only reason why I watched that movie. And that movie, I still don't know what the fucking premise of that movie was. It was so weird. I think he also did Blade 2 also. Now, let me do this. Oh, City of the Lost Children. Oh, okay. There we go. 1995 movie. Jean-Pierre Jellet. Let me see what his movies he did. He he did a lot of weird movies. Okay. City uh Alien Resurrection. Amuliet. I thought he did like Blade Two, but that was Blade Two was uh the Toro, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, Guerrero de Toro. But anyways, uh, what, uh, But we're we're um we're gonna try to get our senator for our district on hopefully Wednesday. Hopefully, if I can talk to him and everything, uh, get everything set up tomorrow, and hopefully we have some sponsors that will help us put this whole crap together. I don't want to use the phrase because I don't want to take drinking gross stuff. I have to come up with a new phrase other than this that keeps this whole shit show uh, thing on the air. Mm-hmm. It's drinking bro stuff for their sponsors, but we'll come up with something. But we're we're going. We're finally at the point where, even though we're still small, that we can get a little bit of sponsorships. Uh, it won't pay us as much unless they see the thing about sponsorship. Is people have to use the discount code. I mean, you don't even have to watch a show to get the discount code. It's really funny. Well, that's that whole disclaimer, no purchase is necessary to win. Yeah. But let's let's be honest with ourselves. It wouldn't hurt. It I know, wouldn't, right? It would certainly help us because that means if you're going and, you know. I wonder if it's only like, uh, because if we get Cabela's and we can go down to Fort Worth to go to Cabela's, I wonder if our discount code works. I'm willing to bet that it's probably just an online thing. God damn it, that would fucking rock, though. My dad would be so proud of me at that point. (laughs) Most of my friends, too. Guys, guys, guys. You can order stuff and use my discount code for 20% off. How'd you get a discount code? Well, 
Johnny's not willing to take a hit, but I'm not either. I have a couple of chicks. I'm I'm still processing the my dad would be so proud of me. No, <sighs> well, yeah, I would be too. I mean, if you actually listen to the show, I mean, a couple of. Did you did you ever li- listen to the uh, Charles Manson one? I didn't, um, and I'm being honest, I didn't. Um, I, I, I for, excuse me, I, for, um, I think I was in Boston that week. Yeah, yeah, I was a little busy. You know, you can like click on any time frame. I understand that, but so. as you clearly stated at the beginning of this episode life happens complicated yeah 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 (laughs) actually i was thinking of uh (laughs) i'm thinking because we both have a lot on our plate right now and hopefully by the time you get back down to uh houston that will like cut a lot of uh stuff that we actually well then there's a the, regular the whole everything. you know because i mean my trips back and forth are going to become a lot more frequent between now and june uh when i make the permanent move down there uh um, yeah. house stuff personal belongings uh mar- you know wedding stuff to prep take care of uh the wedding job situation i gotta get a job down there yeah you know uh there, there's a lot of things that are are still you know i'm not saying they're up in the air because well let's be let's be honest it's it's not a situation where i'm like oh i don't know if this is gonna happen or not no i'm getting married i'm moving down there it's you know and, and i'm gonna get a job down there it's just a question of where and uh you should just take are you just gonna take stuff periodically it's like whenever you take a trip down there, you take a couple of stuff with you. Um, that would be the smart play. However, we're we're still looking at uh, room to put it until the house is ready. Yeah, that's true. Because even even though we like close on the house, or whatever, we still have like a move in date. Uh, there's still the lease on the current house down there. Mm. Mm. I think there's like a month overlap, kind of a situation. You know, in, unless the uh, the landlord would be willing to let us break it. You know? <laughs> no landlord let fucking people break that shit. Ah. I had so many, I had so many fucking problems with landlords because I was like, okay, my lease ends on this date. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you the stuff right now. I've got, I'm I've got gonna... a couple of ideas as far as that is concerned, but I'm gonna keep those close to the vest until it's time to. You know, until it's time to reveal those, because, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say right now. But uh, oh, uh, I also uh, I took a shot at dark because everybody's been wanting to do this shit, and I'm, that's the only way I'm going to be able to do this stuff. And I'm probably just going to cancel all the shit like tomorrow. Is uh, I started getting up on those freaking dating apps. You know, like, like Tinder and Bumble and Plenty of Fish? Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I got a couple of hits, but I just, I'm not really trying. Everybody's like, oh, you need to get somebody. You need to get with somebody. I'm like, fuck, I don't really. Every, okay. I, I'll, I'll read up their stuff and everything. I was on Tinder for one month. And, uh, yeah, no. I mean, my phone, the battery on my phone just would not last. Because my phone kept blowing up. Um, it's the I mean, bias. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's like uh, a destitute barren wasteland. Um, well, for me, I mean, this this stuff doesn't work, apparently. Of course, I put in ridiculous All jokes photos. aside. All jokes aside. No, no, no. The photo I used for my uh, photo profile is me and the uh, and baby. (sighs) 
And it's the only one I can find that I'd just be in it. That's what's so sad. If I need to meet up with you to take some pictures for you, fine. I'll take a picture with you posing with your bow, you know, while you got it drawn back or uh, we we, we can try that. We'll we'll try it just figure for it a out. Month. But the thing of it is, and I'm not saying again that places like Twitter or Bumble. I never had any luck on Bumble. Definitely didn't have any luck on oh. plenty of fish. No, I'm not going to say excuse me. So fuck you. That was um, the, well, plenty of fish is more or less like going up to Walmart and trying to pick up chicks. Right. The the t- the caliber of women that you were going to find on plenty of fish. They're usually the ones that after about two or three months of talking to them, they're going to be like, let's go hang out. And then they show up. Or, you, you know, you go to their house and they're like, hey, I need to go to the store. And then they come out wearing like a muumuu that's been washed too many times. So it's transparent. And they've got some dirty feet kids wearing stained wife beaters that are barefoot <laughs> that they didn't tell you about hopping in the back seat of your car so you can all go to Walmart so she can go get stuff on her WIC card. And then she starts yelling at the kids because she can't get up off of the hover around scooter. <laughs> it's almost as bad as when we were in the service when we were just in like uh Oh the dependopotamuses? Yes. Like, yes. Did oh you say B A H <laughs> Did somebody say Tricare? Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, well, Dude, I found 15th. out Wow. Guess what that's, I found out about my really whole steady. Face? What's that? That uh a commander of uh of the uh, transport group, uh, they uh, they fired her. Really? She was being a pitch, man. Well, I found out something about my old cunt. post. What's up? Um, one of the historical landmarks outside of Gate Six finally got closed down permanently. The world famous Cat West Strip Club. Oh, okay. Finally closed down. Yeah, for good. I'm just like, man, that's sad. I, I mean, mean, how how are those how are, how are those soldiers supposed to uh get married? <laughs> yeah, you know, um or find love at least. I I not. remember there was some other establishments that weren't quite up to par. Um the Pink Lady down on 41A, Fort Campbell Boulevard. Uh there was a couple other ones. I mean, nothing can match ours. The... Of course, there's Deja Vu down in Nashville itself, home of the, what is it? Uh... Hold on a second. I've got to look this up. Hold on. Well, for the while, they, 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 the, the ama- they had an amazing sales, po- sales pitch. For a while, Bombshell was uh, tainted because it was on Tosh point, uh, 2.0. You right. probably find you could probably look it up. Uh, Tosh 2.0 Wichita Falls Strip Club. I think that's what you got to look up. I, I'm not looking up because, but they have most of our strippers are now STD free. God, Damn. <laughs> that was on Tosh Food. Oh, that was the yes. sign of it. Okay, okay. So Deja Vu Showgirls, right? It's 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 a gentleman's club in Nashville, right? It's mm-hmm. a chain. I think they've got one in Oklahoma City too. Okay. Their pitch, their slogan: thousands of beautiful girls and three ugly ones. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It's right there. Let me see if I can put this right there. Uh, okay. Hold on, let me turn this. Let me turn this off here. Yeah, that's not helping. Yeah. Anyways, well, me and Maria were talking about. She's like, because she apparently likes strip clubs, and I was like, I can't, I can't go to another strip club ever again. I mean, the whole reason why I go to strip clubs isn't because you know, oh, let's go get a strip club. Let's go to the strip club and get a lap dance. It'll be awesome. I was like, no, no, no. It's not a reason why I go to strip clubs. She asked me this, like, why do you go to strip clubs? Because sometimes. You have to look at the fucking bottom barrel. Of some, I mean, I'll go to the stin, the crappiest strip club you could possibly think of, dude. I've seen a one-armed stripper, 
seen a pregnant stripper. <laughs> I've seen a midget stripper. That one, she was actually quite nice. Uh, I've seen a one-legged stripper. I mean, just just to see the oddities. It's like going to the freak show, but you know, you still have to give up a dollar every once in a while. Right. But it, I mean, the 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 one-legged stripper. I was like, she's like, you're gonna laugh at me. I was like, no, I yeah. am amazed that I mean, she was good. <clears throat> she was good at dancing with one leg or oh, well, pole dancing when you've got leg. just the one leg to wrap around the pole yeah you better be good yeah i mean quite literally all she ever does is leg day that's <laughs> 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 so fucked up <laughs> oh, oh my god that's so fucked up oh, oh that was my another that's that's another <laughs> that's that's another thing i'm trying to uh improve on is i'm gonna try to beat my record of how many times you go <sighs> 16 apparently maria counted off in one episode that's my max was 16 so i'm trying to trying to i'm gonna improve on that Maria, I'm addressing you directly. While I am, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I am uh, impressed by your ingenuity, determination, steadfast dedication to our craft and our show. I must admit that I am somewhat dismayed, embarrassed. And disappointed in myself. Those are ruggy numbers. I got to pump them up. I know, right? <clears throat> and, and to be completely honest, I, I mean, that's that's a give and take both ways. No uh, that's mostly on you. That's 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 mostly on you. Cause... Yeah, I have to improve. But still, <laughs> leg day. <laughs> like <it's doing> <laughs> Dude, that one time when I was uh, watching the, the the stripper that was, I mean, she was obviously in her eight week trimester. Try, I was I was surprised I didn't see like a baby hand grab. The you mean like on her third trimester, or she was in the third trimester? I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that's what it is. I was, eight, eight week. It was like uh, she was she, well eight eight months. Sorry, God, mm-hmm. eight months, and I was surprised I didn't see like a baby hand grab the pole and start spinning around too. That'd be fucking impressive too. <sighs> see, even I told you he still did it. Sometimes I, rem- I amaze myself, really, of the. Stuff I come up with. After she listens, she's going to laugh her ass off what I just said. And she's going to text me. I can't believe you do you put that in my mind, but that is fucking hilarious. It's like What's that one. Day? No, not the leg day, <laughs> the, the stripper with the hand, the, the oh, baby arm on a plate. Right. No, uh, <clears throat> it was like in Total Recall. The The baby. And the first one with Arnold with the baby. Uh, yeah, thing. yeah. It, it was uh can't remember the name. He was supposed to be the prophet. He was basically a mutation. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Michael Ironside shoots it in the head. <laughs> That's one of my favorite actors, is Michael Ironside. Or John. Is it John or Michael? Well, Michael is Ironside. John. Is it Michael Ironside? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Because he is also the uh, voice of Dark Side, and more notably, Sam Fisher from the Splinter Cell series. Yeah, which EA, not EA, Ubisoft or Ubisoft, uh, teased a poster with the Sam Fisher goggles on it. So I think they're about to try to either remaster or reboot Splinter Cell series. 
I, well, I hope they do a better job than what they did last time. Well, no, no, that was Talking last about Blacklist? time. Blacklist was that Blacklist? It came out like a couple of years ago. Yeah, I was setting up. It was, it was it was it it was just one game, and you just reset and do different do different things. Yeah, it was just one um, map. Yeah, I think that that Blacklist was not necessary, and and it didn't, it wasn't really well received anyway because Michael Ironside didn't do the voice of Sam Fisher in that game because he was actually retiring from voice acting. Yeah, I think he's retired. He's period. retired from acting. Period. Yeah. So, I, I think know. the only thing he does now is like cons, very rarely. Yeah. But that's one person I wouldn't mind uh, meeting. He's, he seems pretty cool. I just just for if anything else, I want him to introduce himself to Sam Fisher. <laughs> but this, Michael Ironside is one of those dudes that like you have a kind of a unabashed man crush on just simply because of roles that he's played. I mean, he and was Jester voice. in Top Gun. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh he was the devil in legend. No, he wasn't. No, no, not devil. Um it wasn't legend. I was trying to think. Um He played the bad guy in one of those cheesy campy ass sci fi movies. I think it was Cherry Cherry two thousand, yeah. He was in Cherry two thousand. Yeah, he was. He was in Cherry two thousand, yeah. Okay, so as you can see on YouTube, twelve-year-old Colin is chomping at the bit to tell his wild, wildly inappropriate joke. So I'm going to move the microphone over, Colin. Don't talk into the microphone; just speak normally. Like that. Why is Santa so jolly? Because, because he knows where all the naughty women live. Oh yeah, okay. I was thinking he he knew like three homes. Uh-huh. No, no, he knows where all the naughty women Zero live. Zero offense for the thousand And on that note, and then there's Reagan. Yes, sit back. Uh, yeah, I on guess that on that note. We can close this up. This wasn't the much of a urine review. It was more of kind of a just a sit back and quasi pseudo reminisce a little bit. Yeah, we should do a proper urine. urine. We should do a proper urine urine review show. You know what we should do hmm. is on the anniversary of me becoming co- co host, we should do like a, a, a look back. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, this is but more wait. or less. It was. It's more or less is us whole, talking. Hey, what might hey, be going? Let's look back at the previous year and and yeah, it was one of those. I, I get where you were going with it, your original intent, but you know how we always are. We, it wildly fly, flies off the rails early on. Yeah, that squirrel just bounces around way too fucking much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Much much like the ownership. Of the IP for the squirrel from Ice Age changes hands to hands. It's now on Disney Plus exclusively. Um, the entire that Ice is, Age series is on Disney Plus now. What? What's that? What's that other one? The the Ever After with the squirrel, and they uh, the the guy that does uh oh uh, Brock Brock uh, Brock in uh, Venture Brothers. He does the voice. Oh, okay. And uh he he's on that movie and he's like, oh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but give him the coffee to have him stop the cops. He just fucking gives it to the coffee and give uh-huh. the coffee to the squirrel. He's already like already like up here and it just puts him into a lunar crisp speed. Yeah. Um a little quick note for tomorrow. Uh right now the <laughs> second half is about to kick off and uh it's already 20 to 3 green bay now how this game is imp- uh, important is that 
with New Orleans winning today, Minnesota needs to lose tonight's game and the Philadelphia Eagles that the uh, Cowboys play next week in Philadelphia for the season finale of the regular season will become a playoff team for the NFC. So they will have all six teams for the NFC playoffs. <sighs> yeah. But there's no wall card this year? or Yeah, yeah. It'll be Arizona and Philadelphia. Arizona is going to be the fifth seed, and uh, Philadelphia is going to be the uh, sixth seed. So Cowboys aren't in it, or they are in it? No, they are. They are. They're, okay. they're, they they won their division um, by the virtue of their loss today. They slipped from the number two seed to the number four seed. So in two weeks, when the playoffs start, Dallas will host a playoff game against the Arizona Cardinals that beat them today. Dude, that'd be interesting. So, um, because one of the one of the guys. Uh, Oh man, Jerry Jones just came up with a thing. Uh, I think one of the wide receiver like tore his ACL or some shit. Oh yeah, uh, Gallup. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but the the their receiver Wilson, who came in today, filled in rather nicely. He even had a thirty-one yard pass attempt today that uh, was was good for a completion. It was on like a fourth and one, fourth and two. They went for it on fourth down. Some razzle dazzle got a thirty-one yard play out of it. Mm. It was pretty nice. Ah, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so we'll, no, that's we'll something address... to talk about tomorrow. Yeah, that's something to talk about tomorrow. Um, ask that man. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, I need to actually sit down and unpack because you know <laughs> I'd been the door twenty minutes before I logged in this episode so yeah um but i gotta i gotta i gotta get all squared away and get ready for work tomorrow and try to resume some sense of normalcy yeah so but i'm david dickerman and i am johnny skelton and thank you for watching what the hell hell? thank you Andrew faithful talk to you later peace wait hold on hold on hold on Hold on, I got something for this. Make more time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. <laughs>